I did saw the documentary and uh, like you said it's a very interesting documentary and there were several um, revelations made by some players in that documentary and uh, I think that it is a it is something that the police can use to be able to probe more into the death of Mr. Milton, if that's the name of the guy, from Orindua. From, from Orindua. And um, to see how we can use some of the things that have been said as, um, as a basis to be able to look at some of these, some of these persons and uh, interview them further to see where we can take that investigation. Is there uh, the possibility uh, for any persons to be charged with even conspiracy to commit murder um, in terms of, uh, I believe, the caretaker, I think uh, the, the woman that lured uh, Mr. Fall uh, in terms of the alleged, yeah, yeah, alleged lured Mr. Fall and the, the alleged uh, killer uh, anything that can be levied against these persons given what was revealed in the video? Like I said, um, there are several interesting revelations and uh, those are things that the police can look at to be able to revisit that case and see what, if anything, can be obtained from those persons to be able to effect arrest on any individual. I will not go too much into details because you know to go too much into details what can happen from there so so who would have to take that directive well the directive will have to come from the investigators who have the case the case is not closed a murder investigation doesn't have any statute of limitations so it is open still the investigators still have hold of that matter and they can revisit those persons and revisit everything that has been said on that video and see where to go from there